Hello Laddingtons, welcome to Assassin's Creed. I thought to elaborate on something, and that is that the only reasonable course of action at this moment in time is for me to make some sort of let's play, because the uh, season of Christmas is fast approaching, and during Christmas and New Year you're supposed to um, spend time with your loved ones and your family, but not everyone has much of a family. So instead, they can, although admittedly, it's perhaps not the same thing, but you can at least tune in and spend some time with me metaphysically in, um, in these Let's Plays. So I thought to make a good few of these uh, Let's Plays so that um, some people can find comfort in them over the next two weeks. So uh, yeah, I have played uh, quite a bit of Assassin's Creed, um, and uh, despite various heresies found within them. It's usually the good guys that are the bad guys in them. So in Origins, for example, the Greeks are the bad guys, and that's obviously not the case. But with that being said, I still think the Assassin's Creed series is um, they are good enough. They are invoking a sense of beauty and identity, despite being created by obviously people who are perhaps not my guys, so to speak. But um, enough rambling, let's get into the game itself. So this is the first time I play this particular game. I have played um, the previous titles um, by myself, so not uh, made any let's plays of them. So this is the first Assassin's Creed I make a let's play of. So uh, let's get into the game. Have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta! I genuinely got shivers of epicness watching that intro. Uh, so yeah, the uh, the game intro stopped here and I'm just gonna play continue and if I'm not as talkative during the following minutes it's probably because I'm trying to get the hang of the game but uh, I will be more talkative in a bit. So yeah, continue. <laughs> Absolute mad cunt, Leonidas. I get um, true 300 feels whilst um, 
whilst playing this. Press T. Right, boom. Absolutely glorious. Yeah, I might say it before. I'll, um, I'll say it again. 300. The... Uh, oh, sorry, mate. The film 300 uh, had a great impact on me when I saw it. I was only 17 at the time. So I... Um, perhaps didn't see some of the other nuances of it, but I just thought it was a high thumos, uh, really epic film. Uh, so, um, yeah, and obviously I saw Gerard Butler as uh, Leonidas there, and uh, thought he had an epic physique, so then I thought I want to look like that. And uh, a few years later, uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of hard, consistent work, and um, I did look like him. Uh, we'll actually try to get somewhat shredded uh, during the summer as well, so I can regain some uh, physical glory. Right, some. I can't really block yet, I suppose. Maybe I need a shield for that, but I can at least dodge. Whoop! I didn't dodge well enough there. Uh, so yeah, as I said, uh, the intro you saw absolutely, absolutely high thumos. Uh, very pleased with uh, that intro. Uh, you never know how an, an Assassin's Creed game might might be, because you know they're. As I said, the uh, the good guys are sometimes the bad guys. So I'm at least happy that we're playing as the um, as the heroes here. Not quite sure what the mission is. Perhaps just to uh, kill this uh, this bastard. Seems to be perhaps are the immortals, Persian immortals. Now, obviously, when I saw this um, film 300, when I was 17, I had. Um, I didn't know as much of Persia as I do today, so now, in my more enlightened state, I have a um, deep respect for Persia. Um, obviously, Iran uh, was quite a, quite a glorious nation for the Muslim takeover. It was a um, great sin in the eyes of Persians to lie and that is something I can definitely relate to. Um, so they were not allowed to lie. Alright, we have progressed in the... Um Alright, we have encountered a Persian mad cunt. Yeah, he has his uh, aesthetics on point. But now I will have to. We'll have to focus so I don't die in. Um, in this premiere episode of Assassin's Creed. There we are. He had to pay for his crimes against Zeus. Boom. There we go. This is Sparta achievement unlocked. How epic. We are betrayed, my king. Texas, 
Nose of the bot behind the mountain. They're coming. <laughs> By dawn, you will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. When Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of... Today... ...was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow... ...is a day... ...the world... ...will... ...remember! Finally. Wow. This is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay. Let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be... Just start it, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since we're last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. That is why we need alt tech. And uh, for the record, I'd, I was about to make an inappropriate joke when she commented about the spear there. I'm, I'm sure many of you also thought of something witty to say, but um, I will refrain from such things. Anyway, we will go with the hard, because uh, I can't be a noob. Um, I hope I don't say too much and perhaps I get absolutely wrecked here, but uh, I'll try to bring my my A game when it comes to uh, the, the gaming. Guided mode, a more traditional experience. Alright, that sounds... Uh, Sounds no good. If I decide to replay this out. sometime, I might go with the exploration mode, Listen, but, um... Uh, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but... I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. Cassandra, that's a, that's a beautiful female. Um, Alexios, he looks like a mad cunt. Like his hair and his beard. We're obviously going to go with uh, Alexios. Um, indeed. Yes, Alexios. All Quite right, a boss. cool name Finally too. Good to go. 431 BCE, here we come. The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't going to win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it. Oh, and Victoria, read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Alright, yeah, they mentioned the will of the gods, and I actually know the will of the gods. It's um, that you must train in the Temple of Iron at least four times a week. Focus on the heavy basic compound movement, so deadlifts, squats, push press, bench press, rows, and focus on progression. And you will see great gains and uh, some health gains as well. 
Ah, look at that. Ancient Hellas. The cradle of Western civilization. Absolutely glorious in uh, the correct sense of the word. And I think this might actually be our eagle that we can uh, scout the terrain with, but um, I'm not certain. We'll, we're about to see. We have some wolves there as well. I actually have a Dacian wolf spirituality video coming out soon too, where I read from a book, a book I'm currently reading on Dacia. So uh, almost the same time period as, uh, as here. Well, a few years um, later, though, because it's about the um, about Dacia during the Roman times, mostly. But, um, yeah, there is Alexios. He has been mewing, uh, looking at his jaw gains. Hey, shit face! Get down here! Now this is about to be a fight of the ages. Cyclops got a message for you. <clears throat> Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week. <clears throat> Malaka. All right, mate. Go on, bro. The Cyclops said you like to act tough, so act tough. Get a little closer, and I will. All right, let's uh, let's go, champ. The Cyclops always collects his debts. You have a lesson to learn. All oh, right, I had to um to teach me. Tell him to I had to himself. Look target. Never mess with the Cyclops. All right, come at me then. Brew. I'm I'm trying to uh I'm trying to um fight her. There we are. Now see if I can I can illuminate these uh, bastards to the primordial truth. I could. Now they have learned their lesson. I hope. Last week. <laughs> this shit happens every week. <sighs> I can't keep doing this. It looks like. No. Gerald of Rivia's Greek uh, cousin. Uh. Speaking of which, I need to get up to 100,000 subscribers before I make a Let's Play on uh, The what Witcher. That will be a holy moment, to, to be me. sure. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. The Cyclops is spreading anti-Greek sentiments. Perhaps he's an agent <laughs> of the Persians. Do you think Zeus will bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. Only if you're a virtuous. I will ask Zeus for you, but only if you're a virtuous woman and do not participate in degeneracy and decadence, and you shall not become a feminist. Try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. <sighs> what does that weasel want now? That okay. weasel? He wants you to meet him at his new house. It'll be nice to see what uh, what kind of weasel Wait, we're talking what? about. A vineyard? Marlaka. It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. How long has Marcus had a vineyard? Since when has he had a vineyard? Yesterday, I think. So, Marcos, who owes me that me, is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. Right, we're on the road to Sami. Where can I find Marcos's new beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's up. There. That's one aesthetic statue. Alright, mate, I'll go and find him. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe.
algo tan marcos yo camin. Endearing little child. Choices. The choices you make will have impacts both seen and unseen. Consider your options carefully, as some affect the story and are permanent. Alright, mate. That is noted. Uh, you're dead. You made a mistake coming here. They have uh, blasphemed against uh, Zeus and must pay the price. That's uh, that's how it goes. I wonder if I can loot them. I'll have to go up top no. and get dressed. Right, I will have to go up top to get dressed. But before I do so, I will uh, take my leave for this episode so it doesn't get too long. But um, yeah, hopefully you have um, somewhat enjoyed this episode and the hopefully soothing voice of mine. And um, yeah, thank you for watching and... Uh, I'll see you in the next episode. XOXO, boom.